Hello Taurus, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is a general reading for the whole of the Taurus Collective. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, then you can find the link to private readings in the description box directly below this video. Finally, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. So Taurus, I'm going to jump straight into your reading and I'm using the Everyday Witch Tarot deck for your reading. So let's jump straight in and see what comes out for you. So the first card out for you is the High Priestess. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. And that's the Manger Arcana card also. You've also got the Six of Swords. Airy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. That's air energy. And another Manger Arcana card for you. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck and you could be dealing with a Leo. So I feel that this card tells me that you're using your intuition about something. I feel that your intuition might be telling you that something may be worth pursuing or something maybe worth sorting it out here. For some of you, this could also indicate that you may be quiet or someone has been quiet towards you. Some, you may not have heard from someone for quite some time. I definitely feel that there is a sense that you want to clear the air with someone, make peace with someone. This is moving away to karma waters, the Six of Swords. Um, trying to work things out with someone. Um, for some of you, though, this could also indicate uh, emotionally leaving a situation, walking away from a situation, um, moving away from people, stressful, eventful times and problems, etc. Um, and maybe there's an air of sadness in doing this. But for some of you, you want to move away to calmer waters. You want want to resolve the issues. And I feel that a lot of you want the outcome to be a happy resolution, a happy outcome with the sun, which, you know, like I said, this is the happiest card in the deck. And, you know, it does speak of joy and warmth and it is a yes card. For some of you, this can indicate growth and prosperity especially following a dark and confusing time, having clarity in life, happiness, getting those rewards that you deserve, um, feeling positive, feeling good about yourself. So I feel that there are some good things coming in for you. Um, this could be in relation to money, but I'm going to carry on. But I definitely see uh, you want happier times um, to come out of this situation I feel you want a resolution you may be feeling quite positive that you can get that resolution that happy outcome you've also got the six of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius Nine of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
What is this? Yeah, you have some cards that jump for you. Yeah, the three cards actually jump for you. So we had the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. Could be dealing with Virgo. We also have the Eight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And you also have the Queen of Swords that jump for you. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Yeah. So I, I, I see here that there's definitely going to be a successful outcome for you. There is success on the horizon for you there is progress going to be made in this situation here i feel a situation where you want a peaceful resolution you want you want to resolve issues between you and someone else and that should, this card here tells me that the outcome is a positive one for you also i think for some of you definitely there is going to be recognition um for you you are going to be recognized for your skills, your craft. Um, I, I feel there's a, a job offer here for some of you, definitely. Um, some of you could be passing an important exam as well. You are definitely um, feeling good about this situation, I think, uh, especially if it's a job offer. Um, but I also see that you could be someone's wish fulfillment here. That someone does definitely has um, some really strong feelings here for you. Someone may be keeping it to themselves, perhaps. Um, they may not be completely telling you how they feel here. Um, with the hermit, I, I kind of feel that whoever you're dealing with, whoever you want a peaceful resolution with, this person may be pretty quiet, may not be very talkative. I feel this person is in deep reflection at the moment, is is kind of in isolate, isolation mode. Um, they are taking time out to think about things. Um, they need to gain enlightenment, enlightenment, I feel, because um, there may be a bit of confusion. Um, this person may lack clarity with the Eight of Swords. Um, maybe this person's not seeing very clearly at the moment. Um, but I, I, I do feel that There is some clarity coming in this situation. Like I said, you are going to find a way to resolve the issues. I, I feel that this is a relationship here that's going through some hard times. But I, I feel that you are trying everything you can to find a way through all of this this is quite challenging um but i feel that you are going to be very truthful you are going to speak your truth because even though the other person may not have clarity i feel that you definitely do have clarity you know what you want um how you feel and i think that you have been you've put a lot of thought into this you've you fought long and hard. It's not something that you've that you're rushing into blindly. You, you definitely you're definitely thinking really long and hard about all of this. Um, I also see that there could be communication where there's been silence or lack of communication. Maybe where or communication has been quite difficult. I do see communication finally ha happening between both of you after a period of time that this person's been, you know, isolating themselves and being in confusion, you know, trying to um, gain some enlight enlightenment, um, I do feel that there is going to be communication definitely between both of you. I feel that there's going to be a lot of... Um, truth spoken between both of you i feel that all your cards the cards are going to come out you know 
um, the truth is going to come out uh, between both of you. You're going to put your cards on the table or whatever the expression is. Um, and I feel that you're both going to speak frankly to each other about the situation. Like I said, though, this person is going through a period of lack of clarity, confusion, um, needing to gain that clarity and enlightenment. Um, I feel that with the hanged man, um, which, which is a Neptune energy, so you could be dealing with a Pisces as well. Um, it is a card of, it's quite a spiritual card. It's a card of meditation, accepting the consequences of one's actions or accepting the outcomes of something. It's about changing perspective, considering other people's needs, changing past patterns, habits, I kind of feel that um, this is what you're trying to do, really. Um, change the patterns of the past. Try to resolve your issues in a calm, practical way so that you don't repeat the same mistakes. And I feel that you are open. Um, you're very open to hear to hearing what this other person's got what the other person's got to say um because i think you've got a, a much bigger or higher perspective on the matter and like i said you could be dealing with pisces that's very strong on the board here for you you've got um like the high priestess which is pisces and then you've got leo you could be dealing with leo or a virgo with the hermit card so those are the strongest energies that have come out for you in your reading. Got the Death card, which is a Major Arcana card again. You've got quite a few Major Arcanas coming out for you. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, this is putting an end to old habits, uh, an old way of doing things, I think, for, for you in particular. This is an ending to the way things used to be done. Um... And finding a new way to do things. For some of you, this could signify the end of a relationship, the end of a job. But I feel with this reading, for some of you, this is an end to an old, the old way of doing things. Trying to approach things from a completely different angle or a higher or different perspective here. Putting an end to the bad patterns of the past, not repeating mistakes. got the five of pentacles let's get another card out then the four of swords yeah so i think i think that the other person even though whoever you're dealing with i feel that they they may feel kind of left out in the cold by you they may be feeling lonely abandoned by you or you may be feeling this way you can you know reverse the roles you know take what resonates for you in this reading but i kind of feel that whoever this is um they do actually want to come out of the cold i think they do they would like to find a solution as much as you um I feel that this person may need, like I said, this person is taking time out, reflecting, taking stock of things, you know. Um, this person may be drained, may be feeling quite tired, maybe needing to rest. and. Ref I do see a lot of reflection when I picked up this card. I felt this person's in deep reflection. I felt that also with the hermit here. Uh, this person has a lot of things, emotional issues to sort through. Um, but I think the root, but the, at the root of it, this person does want to come out of the cold with you. I think they do would like to find a resolution. This person may not be as positive 
about the situation as you are. I feel that you're more positive that there can be a successful outcome or you can make progress, whereas this person is not feeling that at the moment. But there is love between you both. Um, and I feel that this can indicate love coming in, you know. For some of you, this could be new love coming in. It may not, you may not be in this situation and this is new love coming in after after coming out of something that was very stressful for you after an ending of some sort here and new love's coming in but I, I kind of also feel with the Knight of Cups you know this is someone coming back in you know after a period of separation um, this also tells me that I feel that this person does feel that emotional attachment to you this person does feel have those feelings of love for you still they haven't they haven't died out this person does love you and they are coming in i feel that you know you 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 feel that as strongly as they do yeah like i said communication there is going to be communication um you are both going to start talking this is a card of action of communication so you can expect to definitely hear from this person if you haven't you will they're definitely going to um, communicate with you once they've sorted through things, you know, sorted out their emotions. Yeah, we've got the Knight of Swords here. So another card of communication. So strongly highlighted in your reading, there's definitely going to be communication. This person is going to rush in. Going to suddenly communicate with you, I feel. Um, and like I said, I feel that there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of frank, honest discussions between both of you. I feel that both of you are going to be very honest with each other. Um, uh, yeah, there's so much communication coming in between both of you because I feel that there is a lot of passion, there is a lot of desire. You know to get things going again you know to to resolve these issues you still have a high attraction for each other there's still there's still a lot of love here there's still a lot of passion here as well let's get you out some romance angels got new love so for some of you this you've definitely got new love coming in for those of you that are single like I said, this can also indicate new love for some of you that are single. Um, yeah, so new love is definitely coming in. Someone that is um, going to have a lot of passion for you. Uh, a lot of, it's going to be very caring, I feel. Um, there's going to be a lot of communication between both of you as well. I do really feel that quite strongly. You've got so many cards of communication in your reading. So where the communication was very difficult and strained, it's going to suddenly um, happen for you that you know that, that you're both going to communicate and um, you're both going to have a, a, a lot a lot to discuss. And I think there will, the discussion will be quite honest and frank. It's going to be an expression of love as well. Express your love. So there is going to be feelings expressed I feel in this communication for both of you but love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive yeah don't forget to love yourself first make sure that you're getting a fair outcome for both you know for both parties rather than it all being one-sided got true love this is the romance of a lifetime so the reason why you're both making an effort because you both truly deeply subconsciously maybe at the subconscious level there is still very much true love there between both of you yeah and we've got very soon it's gonna happen very soon so clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now so I'd say very soon that could be um, between now and the next
couple of months. Okay, so that was your reading, Taurus. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my, my channel. Take care. Bye.